Have you ever wondered what the maximum record time is in GarageBand on your iPhone or your iPad? Well, in this video, I'm gonna let you know. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and welcome to Studio Live today. Now, if you're a GarageBand iOS user like me, you may have thought to yourself, I wonder how long I can make my tracks before I run out of space here in GarageBand. So that's exactly the question that we're gonna answer here today. Now, I know some of you will be here just for the answer. So let me give you that, it's 64 minutes. But why is it 64 minutes? Well, that's what I'm gonna show you here. Let's tap on Audio Recorder and we're gonna just tap on the track view here and show you how we get to the maximum amount. What we need to do first is tap on the plus button here in the top right we're going to hit that one and then here where it's got eight bars the maximum number of bars we can have is 640 so if we tap on this one and drag up we can go right up to 640 bars and then if we go back to our project there we go we've got 640 bars ready to go but if we want the maximum time the other thing we can do is tap on our settings here in the top right we can tap on tempo and we can tap and drag this one all the way down to 40 now 40 four beats in a bar four four time it's 64 minutes. You can do the mathematics if you want to, but trust me, it's 64 minutes. And if you don't trust me, I'm about to show you exactly how it is 64 minutes. Now, this is useful because if you're recording, say, a live performance, a podcast, or you're bringing in an audio file that is, say, an hour long, you need this amount of space here. Now, if you are actually recording long-form audio, GarageBand may not be the best option. In fact, an app called AudioShare is what I use for recording long form audio. If you're recording a band rehearsal, a live performance, it's got a great audio recorder built in, a stereo audio recorder, and is a lot more stable and gives you basically unlimited audio recording. So I recommend that one. But back over to GarageBand here now, we've got this set up. Let's show you a few things in this just to prove that it is indeed 64 minutes and why you would need this. So recently I recorded a live performance and it was over an hour long. So let's tap on the loop icon here and we will find this. I've put it here in my, <laughs> my GarageBand transfer file as live performance. Great name, Pete. What we can do is tap and drag this over and look, it is about 62 minutes, I think. And if we drop it in there, it's gonna import that audio file. It's gonna build out the wave profile of this audio file slowly. And there you can see, I recorded it too hot. You can see the signal's peaking there. You can leave your comments down below about Pete. You should record it at a lower level, I know. But the good news is that this entire audio file is in here. And this is, like I say, it is more than an hour long. If we zoom in on the end here, you can see it's just made it in there. It is just slipped in there. Now, of course, this is a live audio performance, so it doesn't matter about the metronome and the bars. So keep that in mind that if you do need it to be at, say, 100 BPM or 150 BPM, then the calculations are going to change. But we're talking about getting the maximum amount of recording time here. Let's now show you an example, a demo of exactly how this works. And if we wanted to record something in here, how it will actually be 64 minutes. So this is where I get to have some fun. I've just brought up the electric piano here and what I'm gonna do is hit record here. You can hear the slowness because we are at 40 BPM and then I'm gonna record in anything here. And that's gonna do it. Because what I wanna do is now go to the very end of this down here at 640 bars. Let's zoom on in and make sure we're right here in the last bar. And let's record some audio here in bar 640, just so that we can see exactly how long this recording will be if we export it. So I've added another track here. It's a bassoon because why not? And what we're going to do is scroll all the way to the end here and we'll zoom on in. You can see we're down here at bar number 640. And if we hit the record again here, let's play us some bassoon. And... And then we go back to the start. Why am I doing this? This is crazy, Pete. But what I'm doing here is showing you what will happen if we export this. So let's export this audio file now just to show you that it's actually 64 minutes. 
So what we're going to do now is tap in the top left corner here. We're going to tap on select, tap on our song file here, hit the share button in the bottom left corner, share it as a song. We'll share it low quality because we're not going to do anything with this one. Hit the share button here, and then we need to tap on open in. The reason being, there is a bug in GarageBand in iOS 13 where you can't save it straight as a file. You have to open it in. It's going to export this song and then I'll come back and we'll save it and I'll show you what the eventual song file looks like. All right, that has exported. It did take a long time because it's a very, very large file. We're going to save it to files and we're going to choose where we want to put it. We'll just put it here in my GarageBand file transfer folder. Now let's jump over to the files app and take a look at this exported audio file. So let's jump into GarageBand for iOS, GarageBand file transfer, scroll down to Pete has too much time on his hands because he really does. And if we hit play on this one and then hit pause, if we scroll on here, look at that. One hour, three minutes and 59 seconds. If we scroll right to the end there, you can see there, one hour and four minutes down the bottom there. You saw it really quickly. It is a 64 minute audio file. So that is the longest audio file that you can produce in GarageBand on your iPhone or iPad. Now, this video was inspired by my buddy Satish in New York City. He is a trumpet player and he needed to import a 25-minute backing track to record his horns over the top of. So I hope it helped him out. I hope you found it interesting. There's two more videos linked down below. You can subscribe to the channel by clicking or tapping up there and I'll see you next time.